Okay, so we are going to do a project where it's a self-portrait, it's a picture of you catching snowflakes on your tongue. So it looks way harder than it really is. It's a fairly simple drawing. And then the rest is done with a combination of pencil, sharpie, um, blue paper, crayons. And these crayons are wonderful because they come in different skin tones. So you guys can match your skin tones to your self-portrait so it looks a little bit more accurate, looks a little bit more like you. And the final touch when everything's done is we will be slightly splatter painting our project with a little bit of white paint. So down here, let's get started. Everybody is going to write their name on the back. I'm going to write Mrs. Fader. All right, the first thing you should do, and here's the first step. We have to draw our nose. So all that's going to be is you guys determine what your nose looks like. I like to just keep it like a round, cute button nose like that. And then that's the rest of my head. Okay, easy peasy. Next, I'm going to do a circle for my mouth. Something like that. After that, it's important that we put in the tongue, because how else are we going to catch those snowflakes? And then teeth. And if you guys wear braces or if you're, you lost a tooth, you want to try to draw your teeth in the most accurate way that looks like you. So if you're one of my kids that maybe you lost a tooth last week and you're missing that one, don't draw it. Put a little gap. Okay, so we also need to have our sweater on, our little scarf. So two little shapes like that that you can connect. And then from here, we're going to draw our shoulders to the edge of the paper. Okay, so I also like the idea of showing the scarf. So here's one piece of the scarf. You can add a little fringe if you like to do that. And then here's another piece of the scarf. That's more fringe. And I always like a striped scarf. It's more interesting looking than just a solid color. You guys can make yours any way you want. I'm just adding a little extra something to mine. And of course, you can add designs to your sweater if you want to. All right, so my next thing is I need to draw my hair. So if you have short hair, you're not going to draw really long strands or anything like that. But remember, this is with your head back, so your hair is going to be in that direction too. And we'll make it look like you by choosing your hair color. Maybe I don't want hair by my nose. I'm going to keep that. Move that down a little bit. Easy enough. And then my final step here for the drawing portion is I need to make sure I sharpie everything. And just like any other project that we trace with Sharpie, you guys want to make sure you give your project an eraser wash and try to remove all the pencil marks. It looks way better then. And again, take your time. Try to get every detail traced. Because Sharpie, you can't erase it. You got to just stick with what happened. With a pencil, you can make mistakes, especially if you draw lightly. It's so much easier to erase it. Okay, and then I gotta get my shoulders here too. These are important pieces, even though they're just simple lines. 
you have to have them, otherwise this project doesn't look very accurate, doesn't look correct. And I know it looks kind of cartoon-like, but even cartoons have to have shoulders and necks and things like that. Otherwise, it looks like you're just a floating head in the middle of a blue piece of paper. Okay. And again, your Sharpies at your table, if you have one that's all dried out, I can't fix it, so just throw it out, you know, let me know that you tossed it. Let me know if you don't have any good Sharpies at your table. I'll bring you some fresh ones. All right. Awesome. So here's our really fabulous drawing. Oh, I missed a little detail. It's always good. Look at it one more time. Show it to a buddy at your table. And then, of course, you take that eraser. And we want to try to remove our pencil marks so it looks really clean and professional, almost as if you drew it with just your Sharpie and you knew exactly what you were doing because you guys are just fabulous artists. And be conscious, when you guys are taking the pencil marks off, I know it takes a lot of muscle and such, but you want to try not to shake the table. People at your table are going to get mad when they're drawing, especially if they're trying to trace the Sharpie. So just make sure you aren't bumping your neighbor, you aren't shaking the table crazy. All right. And if you need to go back and fix anything, of course you can. I like to have like a good solid line around my main shape. So like my main shape would be the shape of the nose and the head. If you want to get really detailed, you could even draw nostrils, which would be hilarious. You don't have to. I mean, nostrils aren't exactly the prettiest thing. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. I'm going to add color next. 